Hello everyone, my name is Akere Lee Oluwa Shogo. I'm your Microsoft Excel trainer. Today I'll be teaching you how to use Fiverr Chart and Fiverr Table Wizard in Excel. How to use Fiverr Table and Fiverr Chart Wizard in Excel. There's a button called Fiverr Chart and Fiverr Table Wizard which you can use to create your Fiverr Table automatically in Excel. But the unfortunate part is that this button is made hidden in Excel. So you need to learn how to bring it out before you can start using the button. So today I'm going to show you how to bring it out and also how to use the button in Excel. Okay, all right, let's go through the process together. So all you need to do is to go to any of your tab ribbons that you have in Excel. So you can right click on any of the tab ribbons, right click on any of the tab ribbons that you have on Excel. So when you click on a button called customize the ribbon customize the ribbon so when you click on the customize the ribbons so you see this your tab ribbons dialog box in excel so this is where you see all your main tab in excel this is where you can find all the main tabs in excel all you need to do is to click on a button called new tab new tab new tab so excel will create a new tab for you which is called new tab custom and under the new tab custom you also have a new group custom so click on the new tab custom and click on rename rename so you can customize it with your name Shogo. i'm using my name as an example Shogo. so when i click on ok i click on ok so under your tab you also have a group so you can also rename the group so you click on rename and i'm going to call the group special command special command i'm calling the name of the group special command and i click on ok so you move to the left hand side where you have all the popular commands in excel remember the command that you want to add is not in your regular command in excel all you need to do is to click on the drop down arrow beside the popular commands and click on command not in the ribbons command not in the ribbons so excel will brought uh, excel will bring out all the command that is not in your regular ribbons so go and look for pivot table and pivot chart wizard so this command are being arranged in alphabetical order so scroll down to go and look for pivot table and pivot chart wizard so scroll and look for it under letter p pivot table and pivot chart wizard so i can see it i can see it. pivot table and pivot chart wizard so click on it and your add button will be activated so you click on add it will come under your special command so go and click on ok so when you click on ok if you look at your tab ribbons you see a tab ribbon being customized with your name so click on the tab ribbons and you see your pivot chart pivot table and pivot chart wizard in excel under your special command so this is how you use the button just click on your data set anywhere on your data set and click on the pivot table and pivot chart wizard so when you click on it you see this dialog box is asking you where is the data that you want to analyze do you want to use external do you want to use microsoft excel list or database do you want to use external data source or do you want to use multiple consolidation ranges so excel is also asking you what kind of report do you want to create pivot table or you want to create pivot chart report with pivot table report so if you want to click create pivot chart report with pivot table you tick it and you also click on this for an excel list of data base so you click on next so when you click on next excel will ring your data set that is the data that you are working with so you click on next so an excel will also ask you where do you want to put the pivot table report is it on the new worksheet or on the existing worksheet that means the current worksheet that you are working on so if you want it to be on a new worksheet so you just click on the new worksheet and click on finished when you click on finished so you see you can see this is our pivot table you can see pivot table one and this is our pivot chart 
and you also have your private chat feed list so you click on what you want to see on your report so under the private under the private chat feed list if i want to see report of my department so i can click on department so excel will show all the department under the pivot table so and i also want to see their salary and i tick salary so i will see department again salary you can see the pivot chart so department again salary you can see so it depends on what you want to see so if i want to see status again salary so i want check the